Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Juan Castro, Castro Productions, and this is Austin Chaplin. And today is episode one of our beat breakdowns. Today, we're going to be breaking down the beat that we made a couple of days ago called Perspective. But before we do that, be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. So as Juan was saying, this beat was called Perspective, and before we started chopping up the sample, we decided to start with drums on this beat. So the first thing that I laid down was a kick, snare, and hi-hat pattern, so this was the pattern. Just a very simple boom bat pattern because we already heard the sample and we kind of knew that was the direction we were going to go with it. Then I added an open hat. But yeah, this kind of laid the foundation of kind of where the sample and the emotion of the track was going to take us. So that's what we started with. After I had laid down the drums, we chopped up the sample and kind of stretched it into time and then slice it up onto the Ableton push. And these were the chops that I came up with over the drums. So after we chopped up the sample, I made those chops for the A section. This is what it sounded like with the drums that I had laid down so far. So like Austin said, after we got the A section all chopped up in the way he envisioned it, we went on to uh, explore the sample later on and I heard a string section. I am personally a sucker for strings and when I heard it, I was like, it's got to be in there. So we ended up flipping that, chopping it up and making it into a B section for the beat. And it went a little bit like this. Okay, so after we had those sample chops and we had the drums laid down and Juan had created a B section, we decided to lay down a bass line. And then with the sample, this is kind of what it sounded like together. Okay, so after we had laid down the bass, drums, sample chops, we wanted to add one more element to that A section to kind of bring it all together so that when it came to the verse, things kind of dropped out. So the element that we decided to add was this guitar loop from the Cymatics pack. And this is what it sounded like. So it was kind of bright, it felt a little busy for the beat. I wanted this beat to be as kind of simple as possible. So 
I added halftime to it, which kind of, one, slowed it down rhythmically, but then two, brought it down to where it was a lot darker and didn't stick out as much. So this is what it sounded like with that halftime. So after we laid down the guitar, we found a one-shot piano stab that really sounded like a digital one. And it kind of sounds weak on its own. Um, I'll play it right now. Doesn't really sound like this would fit very well on the beat that we just made at all. I was playing it along with the beat and it actually in context sounds very nice with the trumpet. So I added a little bit more effects. So I added EQ, reverb, and a little bit of compression. That's what it sounds like with that. So already a little bit better, but in context, I'll play it with the sample now with, with this piano in and without, and you'll hear how it really accents the trumpet in the sample. And now I'll play it without that piano so you can really hear the difference. So after all of that, we got into the salt and pepper. We got the chants. Then we got just some female vocals. Then we, you know, added a crash. Stack that with a, another crash. <laughs> the next seasoning is this hit. Just as big thunderous clap. From there, you got these chimes. It's nice and pretty. After we got the chimes down, we went to this spin effect. From there, we got this sprinkle effect. Now, we come to the sweet, sweet, sweet part of it with this subway. I don't know, I can't tell you much about it. <laughs> we stack that later on with another subway sound. So the last element that we added to the beat was these crowd, these TV crowd effects. And I'll play you it solo to see what it sounds like. So that gives you a little idea of it. And then I'll play the intro with and without so you can see the difference it makes. It adds a lot more emotion to it. Okay guys, this is the end of episode one. Hope you enjoy what you saw and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And we included in the description the links to download the beat that you've seen in the video as well as links to our website with all of our beats. And if you're a producer and you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my email list to get my free loop pack. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.